Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, I want to discuss a topic real quick that uh, has been kind of a, a trending topic on my page for the last couple of days. I've had quite a few white people ask me why a lot of my articles are titled black on this, black on that, or why are blacks allowed to use the term black pride and white people aren't allowed to use the term white pride. Look, let me break it down to you like this. Saying black pride or announcing a black owned business. Representing black pride does not mean that you're anti-white. What representing black pride is, is representing black culture. Now, ideally, we should be saying African pride or African culture. But due to racism and slavery in America, blacks have been disconnected from the continent of Africa. Therefore, when you when you speak of African or you describe an African person in modern terms, you're thinking of someone that has recently immigrated to the United States from the continent of Africa. You're not thinking of black people that have been here for the last four or five centuries. So what happened was black people were disconnected from our home country and disconnected from African culture altogether. So what happened? They developed this term, uh, what was it first? Colored, then Negro, then, uh, then black, and now African American. So what we're, what we're doing is when we say black pride or we're, you know, we're talking about a black owned business, we are celebrating black culture. It's no different than when Jewish people celebrate a bar mitzvah. It's celebrating Jewish culture. It's no different when Irish people celebrate St. Patrick's Day. They're celebrating Irish culture. If I bump into a white guy with a German sounding last name on the street and I ask him, hey, uh, where are you from? And he might tell me, well, you know what? My parents are from of German descent. The reason he can say that with pride is because he's never his people have never been disconnected from their heritage. So there's been a constant linkage going on for centuries. Black people in America do not have that. So we say black pride to celebrate black culture. Now, when a white person asks why they can't say white pride, that's not a black person's problem. You're asking me something that is not a black person's problem. America allowed white, the word, the phrase white pride to be associated with the Ku Klux Klan and racism for centuries. Therefore, when you hear the term white pride now, it has a negative connotation. That's not a black person's problem. Black, black owned businesses. We say that with pride because I think we own less than five, blacks own less than 5% of businesses in the United States. There's been instances of, of shady lending and a whole host of other things that have stopped blacks from owning businesses, but that's another topic and I won't get into that today. I just wanted to reiterate the fact that saying black pride does not mean you're anti-white. It is only a celebration of black culture. Someone else asked me, well, why do you have black entertainment television? What if we have white entertainment television? We'll be deemed racist. You already have white entertainment television. It's called NBC, CBS, and ABC. If you look on these stations now, you might have Empire and maybe two or three other black programs out of the hundreds that are in their lineup. So come on, man. If we don't, if we don't celebrate and represent ourselves... History has shown us that no one will. So again, black pride does not mean we're anti-white.